What's up Chemical Guys family and welcome back to part two of this series on this BMW 328i. You guys may have seen our last episode, we gave the wheels a deep clean and thorough wash. Now it's time to do the exact same thing for the exterior. So today we're gonna to be showing you guys everything that you guys need to know and have to give your car a deep thorough wash. All right guys, so right here, right in front of me, we have everything that we need to give this BMW a thorough wash. So the first thing that we have is our two bucket method. So we have two buckets here filled with clean water. We have our chenille microfiber wash mitt, which is gonna allow us to safely wipe down the surface of our vehicle and remove any kind of embedded dirt and grime. And then we also have our two dirt traps right here, which are gonna go at the bottom of our buckets. Now these dirt traps are filtration systems for your bucket, and this is gonna allow for any kind of dirt and abrasive particles that you pick up with your wash mitt to filter to the bottom of your bucket. That way it doesn't resurface, get it back on your car and scratch it all up. So these are a huge lifesaver in terms of giving your car a proper wash because this is really gonna help you prevent the chance of scratches. So the way that they work is you're gonna grab them and you're gonna go ahead and dip them in at an angle. And the closer that you get to the bottom, the more that you wanna set them down flat. And then once you're at the bottom, just give them a nice little push and they secure nice and tightly. So we also have right here, right in front of me, two different soaps. And you guys may be asking, why are you using two different soaps? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. The first soap we have is our Honeydew Snow Foam. As you guys know, this is a snow foam. This is gonna work out incredible with our Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon to create tons of slick suds. The second soap that I'm gonna be using is gonna be our Clean Slate Surface Stripping Wash. Now this soap is specifically designed to break down protective coatings that are on your paint, such as waxes and sealants. And this is gonna pretty much prep your vehicle and your paintwork and your exterior surfaces for a clay bar and polishing stage. So we're gonna be using this combination of two soaps to go ahead and just give this car a thorough clean. Like I mentioned, we have our Torque Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon, hooks up directly to your pressure washer, generates tons of suds. So the first thing that we're gonna do is dedicate one of these buckets as our soap bucket. So I'm gonna grab my Honeydew Snow Foam, open up the spout, apply about one ounce into my uh, blue bucket here. And then I'm also gonna apply an ounce of my Clean Slate Surface Cleansing Wash. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna activate the suds with my Torque Snubby here. Grab my chenille microfiber wash mitt and just go ahead and dunk that in there so that it pre-saturates, lubricates, and you know it's ready for us when we want to start wiping down the surface of the vehicle. The next thing that we're going to do is set up our Torque Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon. So I already have it pre-filled with some water here. And what I'm going to do is set this down. I'm going to pour about an ounce of honeydew snow foam into my foam cannon. And I'm also going to add about an ounce of the clean slate. And just like that, we're all good to go. All we have to do is pretty much put the nozzle back onto our foam cannon here, twist that, and then we just wanna go ahead and stir it. Don't shake it, just make sure that the soap solution mixes in well together and you're all ready to foam. But before we do that, we do wanna make sure that we give this car a pre-rinse and that's just so that we knock off as much of the loose dirt and debris as we can so that we reduce the chance of scratches and swirls when we go ahead and wipe it down with our wash mitt. All right guys, so now that we've thoroughly rinsed off the BMW, next step in this process is to give it a foam, the most fun part in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my Torque Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon to my Snubby, just get to foaming. <laughs> So now that the car is fully foamed up, what I like to do is let that lather. You wanna let that clean slate just kinda of do its job, break down all the protective coatings that are sitting on the paint. And in the meantime, what I also like to do is to go around the car and thoroughly clean out the trim. So right here I have my nonsense all-purpose cleaner and one of our on the details brush sets. And this works out great for cleaning up the crevices like textured grills and stuff like that. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be working on right now. So I'm gonna be moving my way over here to the front of the car and cleaning out all the grill areas, the lower bumpers of this BMW as the product is foaming up. 
All right, so as you guys can see, there's already some foam on the grill right here, but I'm also gonna be adding some cleaning power. I'm gonna be getting my nonsense, spraying into the brush, and just cleaning out these trims as the, uh, the foam is doing its job. So this is just gonna ensure that our trim is nice and thoroughly cleaned out. So once the car is all fully dry, we can apply our dressing to these trims and not have any problems with it not bonding correctly. And you can use this on pretty much any of your seals, emblems right here. I'll go around the BMW emblem as well, just to make sure that there's no dirt and grime embedded in the crevice right here. You can also use it on the grill as well. I know these areas can be kind of tedious to get into with with one of your wash mitts. So, you know, using a brush on areas like this, it's always recommended just so that you get that nice thorough clean. <laughs> Alright guys, so now that we've foamed up the car, it's been sitting on there for a while, we cleaned our trim, now it's time to thoroughly wipe down the vehicle. So I'm going to grab my chenille microfiber wash mitt and go ahead and just slide my hand right in there. And we're going to work our way towards the car and start from the top. So whenever you wash a vehicle, you always want to make sure that you start from the top because you want to work your way from the top and down. Reason why is because you have much more dirtier contaminants sitting at the lower parts of your vehicle because you know you're driving, you're kicking up brake dust all throughout the sides of your vehicle, road, uh, road tar and all that stuff. So the last thing that you want to do is get that stuff to the top of your car when it's less dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and start off on the roof and then you can always do your windshield, come all the way down to the hood and then you pretty much just want to work your way from top to down all the way around. So in this case, I'm doing the windshield, making sure that I get underneath the windshield wipers as well. And then I'm also going to get this half of this hood real quick. And as you guys can see, I'm doing straight linear motions. I'm not doing swirls. I'm not, not, I'm not doing any of that stuff because if I were to get any kind of contaminants stuck on my wash mitt and I'm doing that motion, I'm going to get that nasty swirl mark effect and I don't want to do that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is come back to my wash bucket over here. Remember you guys, I have two buckets over here. I had one for my soap and one for my rinse. So what I'm going to do right now is actually grab my wash mitt and wring it out outside of the bucket. And what this does is it pulls off any kind of embedded contaminants that are uh, caught within the wash mitt. And then we're gonna furthermore filter out our wash mitt by putting it back on and coming back to our secondary bucket here. Now I did get a little bit of soap into this bucket. Don't worry you guys, it's not the end of the world. It's just the rinse bucket. So what we're gonna do is grab our wash mitt and just push, uh, push it towards the bottom of the dirt trap right here. And then we're simply just gonna go ahead and agitate the surface of the wash mitt onto that dirt trap. And this is gonna help knock off any kind of embedded contaminants that are on our wash mitt. That way there's nothing on there. And whenever we go back to our vehicle, there's no contaminants that could potentially scratch the surface. So once you do that, you can go ahead and thoroughly rinse, uh, wring it out again. And then you wanna make sure that you inspect your wash mitt prior to you just going straight back into your soap bucket. And what I mean by that is open your eyes, Take a look if there's any kind of black residue, brown grime, or any kind of heavy, see? I have a little bit of a, I don't know what this is exactly, but there's like a little piece of black stuff on there. Want to make sure that that's not in your wash mitt because that could potentially scratch your paint. So now that I've thoroughly just inspected my wash mitt real quick, I'm just going to finish up real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and grab more suds and continue the wash process. I'm going to do the same thing, hop onto the other side of the car, do the roof and then start doing the sides of the vehicle and then the lower parts of the vehicle. And then I'll be right back with you guys for the rinse. Alright guys, we're fully done, the car is completely clean, it's rinsed, and all that there's left to do is to give it a dry. So I'm going to be using our Woolly Mammoth Ultra Microfiber Towel. 
this is going to do an incredible job at just soaking up all the leftover water that's sitting on the car. That way it's dry, we can put it into the bay, and proceed with the next part of this video series where we show you guys how to clay bar and polish the paint to get this paint looking as good as new. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on our future videos and on this series. And as always, my name is Joe, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. I'll see you guys next time.